After Chamaco, the jobs kept coming. Johnny's unique Latin style of bass playing added that danceable groove. He was in great demand by popular bands like Luis Alcaraz and Chuy Reyes. While playing a summer tour with Alcaraz, Johnny met some of Xavier Cugat's moonlighting band members. Well, it happened that they were on a, a week leave. They weren't working. And uh, they all joined the Luis Alcaraz band to do the tr one trip. And I just happened to fall in. They liked me because I was Mexican, and they, they were Mexican. And I said, you guys with Cougar? They said, yeah, we're with Cougar. I said, man, get me in that band. I sure would like to play with Mr. Cougar. I would really like to play with Cougar. When the tour ended, Cougar's members went back to Cougar and told him about Johnny's remarkable bass playing. The following day, Cougar calls me. He says, are you the Johnny Martinez? All these guys came bragging about your playing with Luis Alcaraz. I said, oh yeah, I met some of them guys. He says, what are you doing Saturday? I says, well, right now, nothing. He says, you want to open the Statler Hotel with me? I says, what? He said, yeah, you know, I, like, I would like to have you with the band. I said, well, Mr. Cougar, I'd be more than happy to go. He says, okay, you come in early and uh, we'll show you the routine we do and the whole thing. And, and you can join me. I said, great. Kept a, a big band working in this town more than anybody else that I have ever known, you know. He's, he's well known for that. You know, he, he was always working six nights, sometimes more, you know, afternoon things and all of that. You know. So he's always had a great band. During the late 1940s, Johnny met his wife Lois at Chicago Shea Paris nightclub. She was a dancer and he was playing bass with the band. Lois would peek from behind the curtain to watch Johnny play. She was one of the eight gorgeous women known as the Chez Paris Adorables. Being a good dancer and choreographer, she was able to find work wherever Johnny was working. They traveled wherever the gigs would take them before winding up in Los Angeles. Their son John was born in 1955. Family life was fairly normal even though Johnny was booked six nights a week for 30 years straight. Also during the 50s, Johnny met and recorded his first album with Oliver Berliner. Being a lover of great Latin music, Oliver wanted to be the first music publisher to record Johnny Martinez on vinyl. It was called Let's Dance Latin. My piano player took me to see Oliver Berliner and he told me, I'd like to do a recording of you. Bring your band. We started to do the record, and it was going over real good because we were playing pretty good in the nightclub that we were working in, uh, Mambo City, and the people were starting to say, where did that band come from? They really play typical good Latin, and they didn't have that here. They had the Mexicans, and they play Mexican-style rumbas and cha-cha-chas, you know. They weren't my cup of tea until I started listening to records from Cuba and Puerto Rico. And then I said, I don't mind playing Latin like that. These guys really play nice. So I fell in love with the Latin music, just in the style. Because I used to play my Latin like this. Listen. That's the style. So I came off with a style. Eliminate the first beat, which is the, the root, and just play the three, four. So I go one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four. So play on that, then eliminate the one. And just do three, four, three, four, three, four. So I start playing that even now, you that's all you hear me play, that style. But I do it in a more definite way of playing. But I left out the, the root, the tonic note at the beginning of the bar. And some guy said, 
Where did you learn to play bass like that? And I said, well, there's a guy with Tito Puente who plays that way, and his name was Bobby Rodriguez. I fell in love with his playing. It's so different by eliminating the root. Only use it when it was necessary. Yeah, that's the way. Always Many albums followed, Musica, like Latin, A Bailar Señores, Playtime in Havana, Cha 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 If You Please. Oliver's help was another great break for Johnny. Besides publishing his music, Oliver promoted Johnny through radio and print. Local DJs would interview him on their shows. His popularity as a Latin band leader was the talk of the town. And before I knew it, the club was being packed because there was a Mexican playing at Mambo City, which was to them like uh, saying, what the heck's going on? A Mexican and a Cuban and Puerto Rican club. That was the Pachuco guys. They, was, didn't, they didn't like it that much. And I kept telling them, hey, you guys ever want to get somewhere? You got to get, get onto the new, new stuff. And that's what I'm playing for you. Well, before long, they liked it so much, they started turning their girlfriends. And the clubs got, the clubs I was working at were getting more popular because the people were starting to hear that new sound that I came into California with that nobody in this town played. <laughs> 